Hey guys, it's Dee from Dee's Divine Guidance here for the sign of Scorpio for March of 2020. Um, if this is your first time to my channel, I want to say welcome. And if you're coming back, thank you for coming back and liking, sharing, and subscribing these videos. Um, in this video, you are going to get the message from Spirit as well as the energy healing to go along with it. So you want to stay tuned for that. Uh, and I will be pulling more cards throughout that energy session. I also have a master class coming up, which is healing your life through the power of energy healing. So if you're interested in healing yourself, learning energy healing, I have a master class on March 3rd at 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. It's live. You can register and claim your spot down below in the description box. Um, do not miss it. It's going to be good stuff. All right, so if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button with the little bell notification to get notified when I do have new videos coming out, and I will be going live a little bit more often, so you want to make sure you hit that little bell. All right, let's see what's going on for you guys for the month of March. All right, so I think Aries had the same spot with the same card. All right, so the overall energy for the month here is the Five of Swords. So this might feel like stabbed in the back. Um, somebody might be walking away. You might be feeling as though um, this could also be like you stabbing yourself in the back as well. Uh, Self-sabotage is what I'm getting here too, okay? Um, I don't like how this guy is like looking at her, like taking the swords and like so just be aware of the people around you because they feel as though they could um, not be putting your best interests at heart, okay? So just be aware of that this month. Um, everything else looks pretty good. So like to have that, so, okay, so what I'm gonna say also here, and remember these are general readings, so take what resonates and leave what doesn't, but this could also be, again, that self-sabotage. So just be aware of your thoughts. Um, making sure that you're you're being nice to yourself as well because this could be you stabbing yourself in the back. So you've got the Four of Cups, the Wheel of Fortune, the Seven of Wands, and the Justice card. So I feel as though you're kind of taking a step back. Um, you're getting the wheels turning. You're being a little defensive. I feel like you're going after what you want because you're tired this justice card, like you're seeking that justice for yourself. So you might be in situations, especially here, if you do feel like you're being stabbed in the back, people are taking advantage of you, um, any of that type of energy, it's you're seeking justice in the beginning of March. You're really kind of focusing, you're taking that time out to like meditate, to get your mind clear, to focus on what is not working in your life and I think as soon as you do that, you're going to start to kind of spin that wheel and get very defensive for yourself. It's like you are defending you and seeking that justice that you're so for, you're so looking forward to. Now, I love this because as you do that, I feel like everything else opens up for you. You've got the three of wands, so you can see like you're looking towards the future here, this crystal ball in front of you. Then you have the king of wands followed with the six of cups and followed with the moon. So with this king of wands, I feel as though you're stepping up, right? So this could be like a new relationship. It could be um, a promotion, could be a new job. The king of wands could be your own business, whatever it is. But I feel like you're looking towards the future of this energy. And with the six of cups, I just feel like you're the Six of Cups to me is always about giving yourself your light back. And I feel like with up here, with the Justice card, by seeking that justice and taking the action and looking towards the future, you're going to be a lot happier is what I'm feeling here with the Six of Cups. Like that light is just gleaming right here. It's gleaming as well. And then you've got the Moon card. So again, the full moon is coming in. Um, I think it's around the 9th or so of March. So use that energy to let go of the things that are no longer serving you and get your light back. So whatever is draining your energy, whatever is keeping you stuck, um, you want to let go of that in the middle of the month here, especially around the full moon, especially when Mercury gets out of retrograde. Um, you definitely want to 
let go of all of that and use the moon's energy. Very, very important, right? Because we got the full moon right here. Use the moon's energy. It's three days prior, three days after. So you've got like seven days there of really powerful energy that you can use um, coming for you. Then I think after that, I think you're gonna have a very big decision to make. You got the two of wands, you have the seven of cups, you've got the three of cups, and then you've got the five of pentacles. Um, so you might have some decisions, uh, choices with the decision. So the two of wands is like, which way are you going to go? And the seven of cups there, definitely maybe a little bit of confusion. Do I want this? Do I not want this? You might be getting friends involved here with the three of cups to help you make a choice. But in the end here, oh, they're telling me to pull one card. I want to clarify this five of pentacles. Um, in the end, it's like someone feels left out in the cold. And I feel as though that's going to be the energy. Excuse me. Um, actually, we're going to pull two here. Yeah, five of cups. So five of cups and the temperance card. So you very you have to balance yourself out at the end of the month because I do feel as though you're going to be making a decision. It's not going to be an easy decision. I feel as though you are going to um, have you're going to struggle a little bit. You're going to struggle a little bit. You're going to feel like either you're doing something bad or the choice that you have to make is going to make somebody feel bad. But you're looking at what is not right, what is going wrong, what is the bad. But there's so much good in the choice that you have to make. So really stay focused on the positive change here. Whatever whatever choice you're making, whichever path you're taking, be very focused on why you're doing it. The good that's going to come out of it. The happiness, the light that you're going to be getting back, even though it might be hard to make the change. Oh, now my cards are all messed up. All right, um, here we go. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and get into some energy healing. So I usually go in with an intention here. Um, the intention is gonna be to let go of this feeling stabbed in the back and really just focus on your light here. So that's going to be the intention. If you've never done energy healing with me before, all you're going to do is just close your eyes and listen to some music. And I'm going to connect the divine energy with your energy in order to release any blockages or trapped emotions. All right, so just get comfortable. It's only a few minutes, so it's not that long. And I will be pulling more cards throughout. Go ahead and close your eyes and take a deep breath in. and let it out and at this time i'm going to call in your spirit guide to be with you here to help you heal from whatever needs to be healed go ahead and take a deep breath in and let it out i said that twice all right whatever thoughts come in just let them come in and let them flow out here we go
ahead and take a deep breath in and let it out and take another deep breath in give your body a nice little stretch and go ahead and let it out okay so the cards that came up here are the three of pentacles the seven of pentacles and the high priestess so the message i'm getting here is you have nothing to worry about you have nothing to worry about here the three of pentacles and the seven of pentacles like keep working at what you're doing because you're setting the the foundation for a long-term success here with the pentacles this could have to do with money could have to do with work but you got the high priestess so like your intuition is pulling you your intuition is guiding you through whatever you're going through here these decisions that you have to make listen to your intuition that's what the first card was about right four of cups you got the three of wands looking into this crystal bowl let ball it's like use your intuition follow your intuition follow the feelings that you are feeling that feels good to follow okay don't try to force anything here just let your intuition guide you especially at the end of the month when you have these decisions to make okay so let your intuition guide you it will not steer you wrong all right so give me a thumbs up if you like the energy healing with the tarot and also you know make sure you subscribe and if you want to join me on that master class march 3rd 9 p.m eastern standard time you can register in the description box below um yeah so i'm excited to see what decisions you have to make let me know in the comments below what are you choosing for what is happening this month what are you seeking justice for up here all right have a wonderful wonderful month of march and i will talk to you soon bye